Sometimes we encounter problems in booting our Windows system up. Even after trying to do automatic startup repairs, the Windows fail to boot. It gets stuck in a continuous failed boot loop. This may be because, for some reason, the Windows boot manager is not functioning correctly. In this video, we will completely rebuild the system boot partition for Windows. For this, we will require Windows installation media. It can be created using an app called Rufus or Windows Media Creation Tool from the Microsoft website. The process is simple, and a guide to creating Windows installation media is covered in this video. Once you are ready with the Windows installation media, please insert it into your computer. Enter your system's BIOS settings and boot from the Windows installation media. In our case, this EFI USB drive is our Windows installation media. We will select it and press enter. The system will start booting from the installation media. You will see this Windows setup page. Click next to continue. Here we will click on repair your computer. We will choose the troubleshoot option. From these advanced options, this startup repair or system restore or system image recovery failed to work. So, we will choose the command prompt option. You will get a command prompt window like this one. From here, we can launch the disk part utility and start the repair process. So once it launches the disk part, we can list disk to see all the available disks in the system. Here disk 0 is the needed drive. Disk 1 is our Windows installation media drive. So, we will select disk 0. Our disk 0 is selected. Now from the selected disk 0, we will list partition. These are the partitions available on disk 0. Out of these, partition 1 which is around 100 megabytes in size, is the system boot partition that needs to be repaired. Here we can see, system, is mentioned as its type. So we will select partition 1. We can check the selection by listing the partition again. We can see an asterisk on the side of partition 1. It means partition 1 is selected. Now since this partition may be missing boot files, or have corrupted files, we will format it. Now our partition is formatted, we will need to assign a drive letter to it. We will list volume. These are the volumes available on our system. Another way to know if we are correctly working with the system boot partition is that, besides being around 100 megabytes in size, the file system is FAT32, and the info shows it as hidden. Also, we can see that selecting partition 1 automatically selected volume 2, which means both are the same. We will need to assign a drive letter to volume 2. We need to give a letter that is not used here. Let us give volume 2 a drive letter, G. We will first select volume 2. Then we will assign letter equal to G to volume 2. We can cross-check it by listing the volume again. Our work with the utility disk part is over, so we can exit it now. So, the first thing we need to do is to repair the boot sector. So we will do, boot sect. Forward slash. NT60. All. Forward slash. Force. This will update all the target volumes to be compatible with the boot loader. Now, for the next command, we will need to provide the path to the Windows folder. We know that it is in C drive, but we will just verify the drive. Sometimes, it changes. So we will type C colon and press enter. Then type DIR and press enter. And yes, our Windows folder is in the C drive. It is now verified. We can now go back to this X drive 
even though it is not needed. Our next command is bcd boot c colon backslash windows forward slash s. Now here we will give the drive letter of the system boot drive, which is g colon forward slash f all. What this does is, it copies all the boot files needed for this Windows installation in our G partition which we created and formatted in previous steps. Now we will run the boot rec command to fix the master boot record. Boot rec. Forward slash. Fix MBR. Now we will fix boot with the command, boot rec. Forward slash. Fix, boot. If you get an access denied message then, run the next command. Boot sect. Forward slash. NT, 60. Sys. Now run the fix boot command again. This time it should succeed. Now the final command would be, boot rec. Forward slash. Rebuild BCD. This will rebuild the boot configuration data. Now here it shows the total identified Windows installation as zero. This is because I have already tried all these steps, and the entry of this Windows installation is already made in the boot list. Since duplicate entries are not allowed, it is showing zero. In your case, you may get something like this, where it will find a non-zero Windows installation count. It will ask you if you want to add the installation to the boot list. Type A, or Y, and press enter. It will add the installation to the boot list. Now, all the steps are done. We will just exit this command prompt. Turn off your PC, and restart it again. This time you should be able to successfully boot from your system drive, without getting any boot-related errors. So, we successfully repaired the Windows boot partition. If you liked the information then, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time and patience. Have a nice day.